I'm not saying this to be mean, but rather so every business professional wakes up and smells the AI coffee, so to speak. Virtually every single job will change due to AI, and that change is going to occur very, very soon. Uh, some of this will change, be a change for the better, and some will not for the better. I hope by the end of this short talk, you will not only agree with me, but also be willing to commit a few minutes every day this week to watching the other talks in this series so you will not only be ready for the upcoming upheaval in the workplace, but you'll be one of the individuals who thrives. There are all sorts of statistics about AI, and I'm going to share only one set that I've heard recently. The prediction was that 75 million jobs would be lost, but 97 million jobs would be gained. Time will tell. And when we talk about jobs being gained, we're not only talking about programming type jobs, but we're talking about all sorts of jobs in general. But this is not the first time we've seen the, this sort of upheaval. We can go back to the invention of the Gutenberg Press. Um, this eliminated the jobs of those who were copying books by hand, but it brought books into the realm of something everybody could afford, not just the rich. And so we had more books. The next thing that we saw were the invention of the camera. And again, there was the fear at the time that it would eliminate the jobs of of painters because again you know the wealthy were hiring painters to do all sorts of drawings but again it brought family pictures into the realm of something everyone could afford no longer just for the rich and created a phenomenal number of new jobs we saw the introduction of the assembly line which created an upheaval in the manufacturing businesses and then most recently within our lifetime or at least my lifetime we saw the introduction of personal computers in the workplace each time workers had to adjust and that is where we are once again we're having the introduction of new type of technology that is that is changing things and changing things quite quickly you may have heard the statistic from a recent survey conducted by LinkedIn and Microsoft in it it said 71% of the executives responding said they would hire somebody with lesser skills job skills if they had some AI expertise and that is our goal for this series of lectures. I can personally attest that it is not that difficult to learn. So if you haven't already watched our two AI tips talks, a link will appear to them will appear on your YouTube screen so you can watch them right now and we'll put a link in the description. And don't forget to check back on Friday, if it's not Friday already, when we'll share our talk on how to use AI to find and land your G dream job. If it's already been posted when you watch this, a link to it will appear on the screen. Good luck.